because you never took it to that level of just getting them in that place. And the reason I'm saying all this is, is to break down that barrier of I can't find a model or, you know, the models I find, they won't let me do this to their hair or whatever. You know, model selection is very important. Very, very important. And um, when, I, when I come, when I get to make my model selections and my picks, when it comes to retouching, nine times out of 10, I'm going to the ones that look like models. You know, I, I look for the girls that I'm like, okay, if this is for a company, who am I gonna be putting on a poster, a brochure, a billboard, or on their professional page? As far as like Facebook or a website or Instagram or Pinterest or, you know, Behance, you know, whatever their online portfolio is, 500 picks. You know, that's the chick that's gonna be getting a spotlight. So why you chicks are sitting around like, well, why they post her picture and not mine? Why they post her picture and not mine? Why they post her picture and not mine? Look at her model and look at yours. Hello? Okay, I mean, proof is in the pudding. I mean, if you are a company and you are promoting a brand, what do you want the best looking person to be at the forefront compared to the person who looks like, eh, I don't know. You know, so it's, if, if, you, if you want a chance to shine and you want your work to stand out, put the time in to go find somebody that can potentially make the cut, okay? Because if you just go get your home girl who, sh who works at the shampoo bowl, or your girl you, you play dominoes and spades with and throw back Moscato or whatever, you know, the chicks you, you know, roll blunts with, hit the club with, the B-Ratchet to go out of town with, you know, I could go on for days. I could call all kinds of scenarios and they don't do this professionally. And, and while y'all at the shoot, I mean, I see this at a lot of shoots, and y'all sitting there, yes, oh yes, y'all killing it, y'all killing it, y'all killing it. And I'm sitting there like, y'all killing it all right. It, it, and I look, a lot of people be like, well, Will's a dick, he's a jerk. I mean, look, this is, this is this. I mean, this is reality. Like I said in the last video, when you're talking about a person's brand, I know my brand, you know, if I can speak for my brand, I can't speak for everybody else, but you know, we think about Mazzani and Paul Mitchell and Matrix and Schwarzkopf and uh, any of these top, top hair brands. Go look at their marketing and promotional material and look at the model you you always use for a photo shoot or you, uh, your first pick and then go look at their model and see who they use. And then, and then call me a jerk now. See how I think, well, 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 he is telling the truth. I am telling the truth. It's tough love, man. If you have to make sacrifices, you gotta make sacrifices. You know, if a model agency is like, well, we'll let you use them, our model, but it's X, Y amount of dollars. Or if you find a model and she's not with an agency, and she's like, well, uh, here's my professional. Another place you could go, you could go to, um, What's that modeling website? Um, it's a modeling website out there. Uh, let me see if I can pull it up. Model, model Mayhem. Model Mayhem, M-A-Y-H-E-M. The website don't went down. I mean, it, it kind of, the quality of models don't kind of like fell off over the years. But I mean, it's a good start. You know, you can go on there, create a free account, look for some models. Or you can just go to Instagram, you know what I mean? And uh, scroll some of these female pictures. I mean, females love to post pictures of themselves all day, every day. You know, I, I I don't get it, but you can always see some chick always posting pictures of themselves. Inbox, send them a message. You know, if they ask, well, is it a paid shoot? Like, look, this is my budget, all I got is this. Tell me paying $50, 75, 100, whatever. You know what I mean, if they look good, and they and they got they got pictures on it. The only models I would pay, I got to this chick uh, I shot before about this because she she was mad because I don't pay her. Uh, I would I wouldn't pay her for a shoot. Uh, I'll tell that story another time. But the point I'm trying to let you know is the only way I would pay a model is if she has a portfolio to back it up. You know, outside of that, 
it for me personally, it's it's, it's going to be a trade. I mean, if, if you're a beginner model and you have no portfolio at all, I'm not paying you. I don't feel like I should pay you when my portfolio oversees yours. You should be willing to work with me to help build your portfolio until you get to the point that you can you can ask for money. And I, it's a lot of chicks out there asking for money for shoots and all that. And I'm like, what? If, why am I paying you? What can you offer me to to want to pay you? Now, if you have a portfolio online and I'm looking at it and I've seen you've done multiple shoots, you've been published multiple times, uh, you're in high demand, yeah, I'll pay you. But if you get to a point, as far as as a hairstylist or somebody like that, and you need, and, and you are willing to make that sacrifice uh, to get a girl to come on, offer her something. You know, I mean, or, or just ask me, hey, I'll take you out to eat. You know, some chicks are, you know, simple like that, you know. Or, Oh, cool. Take me out to eat. All right, cool. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, will show up to the photo shoot, you know, but make sure they look good. You know what I mean? You thinking about it, you doing a photo shoot for a company? You don't want to put your best work forward first. You know I mean, because that's what they're going to want if they're going to be using it for marketing material anyway. And if I know, if I, if I was a hairstylist or a barber and, and a company asked me or invited me to a photo shoot, uh, I'm gonna go find the best model that fits the description for, for what I do. Cause I'm gonna wanna, I'm gonna outshine everybody. I'm competitive. It ain't about, oh, I'm thinking I'm better than everybody else. But don't get it twisted. I am competitive. It's just like Jordan. You when know, we step on the court, you wanna outshine and beat everybody. And that's how you that's that's how you should look at it. You know, you wanna go get the best looking chick or the best looking dude, whatever it is you, you, uh, you, you're trying to do for your, your hairstyles and bring them on set and show everybody there like man you should have people out, out there in the audience sit down like man you see this chick man she is bad or you see this dude dude like he to be in gq we have people breaking their neck turning around looking talking and then the per the, the owner of the company will be over there like hmm hmm well will will come on hmm. what do you think about I'm not being extra and all, but oh, I got off on excursion. I don't know how I got on this conversation. The point of this video was to talk about making selections of what I want to work on. All right. Once I make selections, of <laughs> going back to that, once I pick photos. That I want to look at and what I want to work on, because based off my personal references, I put those in the folder, and then I might work on one or two while the client is looking at the photos. All right, so I think that's what I want to say. I think, yeah. Okay, that's about ten minutes. I went by sixteen minutes. I went by. This next part, what we're gonna do, we're gonna pick a photo, we're gonna open it up, we're gonna color correct it, and we're gonna retouch it. All right, and then we're gonna move on for that. So I'll see you in a minute.